What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends. There is a feature in Fallout 76 that vault dwellers have been asking for for quite some time, and that is text inside of the video game. And currently, right now in the public test server, there is a new option when you boot up the game for the first time that will give you these accessibility options where you can text in the game and you can have a text to speech or speech to text inside of Fallout 76. Y'all sit back, relax, and let's talk about this new feature. And now I wasn't able to test this out on stream because let's be real, I do not trust folks when it comes to text to speech because there are so many things that can be said inside of a text option that is visible to everyone on the screen or that can be heard over a microphone. So I wanted to download the PTS on my streaming PC and test it out on a private server. And yeah, I'm really glad that I did that because I was able to quote some lyrics from a Blink-182 song called Family Reunion. Union, and if you've never heard that song, let's just say that you might want to have headphones on if you're going to Google that and listen to it. And now as a content creator and streamer, this absolutely scares the bejesus out of me, but I absolutely love this feature because so many Wastelanders need this, but other players are going to need a filter setting because what if someone's kids playing or if we're live on a stream or making a YouTube video, there needs to be some sort of filter that can be put in place, at least on our end. Don't take away somebody's ability to say the word fuck or something like that. Just let people be able to actually say that word, but it doesn't come through on our end. And look, we had a conversation with ourselves, and this is what it was. So about weather. Really was right. So you have to respond to see chat history, it seems. This is a bit of fancy carry cause of filtering. I said offense carry. No earth. And scary. No no filtering. Also, this needs work. I mean, don't give speed. Are you live now? I was going to say for ten foot with all the chest. Please, do that. But as you can see, things can take a turn for the worse because while there are 99 great and wonderful vault dwellers out there in the wasteland, there's always going to be that one jack wagon. And now one thing that I really love about this feature is being able to see the chat history between who you're talking to and yourself. But the fact is that you will not see this chat history until you respond to that individual. So that is absolutely wonderful. This is not just going to be the entire world text chat that you're seeing. Fill up that little box it's just between i guess you and the folks in your area or even your team that you are talking to and now you may be wondering gassy does everyone need to have the accessibility options turned on so we can hear from players when they do text to speech and the answer is no friends i had my accessibility options turned off and the chat volume turned all the way up but i sent a message with text to speech from my mule in area chat and my main character was able to hear it now as far as being able to hear the text to speech in area chat this this can be quite hard at the current volume level that it is. We have our chat all the way up, and as you could just hear there, there's not really a big difference between the game audio and the chat audio in itself. So Bethesda 11 I don't know what needs to change in that, but definitely that needs to be brought up. But when you listen to the Type 1 and the Type 2 with the volume all the way up, it is absolutely distorted. So I don't know what needs to change, but that is definitely something that I would look into. And now there's 
something going on with the chat history. You see a player is going to type something in and that may not be exactly what comes through on the chat history. It may come through on the audio, but on my mule, I said that this is rough and scary of it not having a chat filter. And what I saw on the chat history is that it was roof and scary, but there was no mention of a filter. So I don't know what needs to change with this as well, Bethesda and 011, but this as well needs to be looked into. But now overall, I am so excited that we are going to have this new accessibility option for players out there in the wasteland, because there are a lot of players out there in the wasteland that would like to talk to other vault dwellers, but they just don't want to put on a mic. And I do love that we are getting a new ping system. We mentioned that in our previous PTS video. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this new accessibility option for tech to speech out there in the wasteland. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. And like we mentioned, we did make a video going over things that we tested in the PTS. You can check that video out right here. Thank you so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love you.